under this uh, lesson we are going to see group 15 group 15 means nitrogen group elements under group 15 we are going to see nitrogen ammonia nitric acid preparation properties and uses rest of the lesson in pp now we are going to see the group 15 element that is nitrogen group in atmosphere nitrogen is occurred in 78 percentage in earth crust it is uh, in the form of sodium nitrite potassium nitrate the common name for sodium nitrate is silly saltpeter and potassium nitrate common name is indian saltpeter next one the phosphorus the below nitrogen group we have phosphorus element that phosphorus is obtained as phosphate another name for phosphate a phosphate is obtained in the form of fluoroapatite chloroapatite and hydroxyapatite the next elements below that the phosphorus is arsenic antimony and bismuth these elements are not very abundant in our earth crust but they are occurred in the sulfide form next we are going to see the preparation of nitrogen the nitrogen industrially industrially means large amount of nitrogen are prepared from the liquid air what is liquid air means it is a mixture of gases in the form of liquid so from the liquid air we have a lot of air in the liquid form they have the boiling point nearer to each other so that we have to separate the um, mixture of gases with the help of fractional distillation fractional distillation means boiling point difference is very nearer to each other so that we are using we are separating the each gases fraction by fraction by heating after work condensing that is called as fractional distillation next one um, pure hydrogen gas pure nitrogen gas they are obtained by sodium azide sodium azide formula nan3 by heating 575 kelvin they decompose the sodium as well as an nitrogen so that we are getting pure nitrogen the next preparation is from ammonia the ammonia is treated with bromine water we get ammonium bromide as well as nitrogen next properties of nitrogen nitrogen somewhat not reacted with other elements so that it is a inert one and the nitrogen two isotopes are there one is nitrogen 14 and another one is nitrogen 15 nitrogen 14 uh, it obtain 14.5 percentage and nitrogen 15 it occurs as 0.4 percentage this nitrogen 15 is used in the isotopic labeling and next one their inert characters why they are having inert characters means because of their bonding energy is very high so bonding energy is very high so that they never bond with the other elements because it needs more energy so that only they act as a inert one and the nitrogen form a triple bond but the triple bond also less reactivity when compared to the c triple bond c c triple bond o x c triple bond n x bond n triple bond c and c triple bond c and c triple bond n this group the mentioned the triple bond group that carbon triple bond with some other and the nitrogen um, with the carbon these groups are act as a donor but nitrogen triple bond nitrogen is never act as a donor Uh, sometimes that carbonate we already studied that carbonic co it acts as a donor or act as a ligand with the central metal atom the same way the nitrogen also act as a uh, ligand sometimes but it is a when compared to the carbonate it is very less one next one the nitrogen is reacted with the lithium metal at room temperature and then form lithium nitride formula is li3n the same way calcium metal reacted with nitrogen at red hot that is high temperature elevated temperature only it reacted with each uh, calcium and gives calcium nitrate formula ca3n2 that uh, calcium valency is plus 2 nitrogen valency is minus 3 so applying criss cross method we get ca3n2 then when boron boron also reacted with the nitrogen at bright red hot that is elevated temperature only and then boron valency also 3 nitrogen valency also 3 so cancelling with each other we get b 
1 and then nitrogen 1 so that we are getting the formula BN uh, name of that compound is boron nitride the next important process Haber process what is Haber process means when nitrogen reacts with the hydrogen it gives ammonia ammonia formula you know very well NH3 and then it um, exothermic process exothermic process means it gives the heat uh, delta HEF is equal to minus 46.2 kilojoule mole minus 1 uh, in this uh, Haber process we are using high pressure and then optimum temperature in the presence of iron catalyst these are all the important point so Haber process we are producing the ammonia when the nitrogen 1 mole of nitrogen reacted with the 3 mole of hydrogen we get 2 mole of ammonia so we get uh, we, if you want to get 1 mole means the 2 is uh, divided means we get half nitrogen reacted with the 3 by 2 hydrogen we get 1 mole of ammonia the next one nitrogen suppose reacted with oxygen means we get nitrous oxide nitrous oxide formula N2O it is also obtained at high temperature like in 3473 Kelvin but the yield is even at 3473 Kelvin we get the 4.4 percentage of nitrous oxide only next uses of nitrogen the new nitrogen is used to produce ammonia nitric acid and calcium cyanamide likewise so many compounds we are producing next one liquid nitrogen the liquid nitrogen possess low temperature so that it produce low temperature in cryo surgery and also it is used in biological preservation ammonia ammonia formula is nh3 preparation first preparation we get the ammonia from urea urea formula is nh2co nh2 then we are going to add water means that is reaction is hydrolysis reaction in this one we get ammonia plus the carbon monoxide get oxidized with water and then get carbon dioxide the next preparation is heating ammonium salt with the base the first reaction ammonium salt in the form of ionic reaction NH4 plus and base in the ionic form OH minus that ammonium plus uh, give one hydrogen that H plus reacted with OH minus we get water and then along with the ammonia. The next one ammonium chloride NH4Cl is reacted with the calcium oxide gives calcium chloride along with two moles of ammonia and one mole of water. The next preparation when heating the metal nitrate here we are going to take the magnesium nitrate magnesium valency is 2 nitrogen is valency is 3 crystal method we applied means we get the formula for magnesium nitrate is Mg3N2 then we are adding water means the water split into HOH the OH minus reacted with the magnesium we get MgOH twice magnesium hydroxide and then that uh, water H plus reacted with the nitrogen we get ammonia NH3 so this is the preparation of um, nitrogen and ammonia from the metal nitrate next one Haber process we already saw this process so it somewhat extends is given here what is Haber process means when nitrogen reacted with the hydrogen 1 mole of nitrogen reacted with the 3 mole of hydrogen we get 2 mole of ammonia in the presence of iron catalyst and then in bracket it is given that a small amount of potassium oxide and aluminum oxide they are used to increase the rate of att attainment of equilibrium because ammonia preparation is a equilibrium reaction so the equilibrium uh, attained with the help of potassium oxide and uh, aluminum oxide and then uh, optimum temperature means 750 kelvin and then pressure is 200 atmosphere pressure is used in the Haber process next one we get the hydrogen uh, to produce the ammonia it is obtained from water gas the hydrogen is obtained from water gas the nitrogen it is obtained from fractional distillation of liquid air next properties of ammonia ammonia is the pungent smelling gas the liquid ammonia it has the same some physical property of water um, in water we have strong hydrogen bond the same way in liquid ammonia also has the hydrogen bond 
it form uh, two soluble hydrate with a water at low temperature one is nh3 one mole of water one mole of ammonia with one mole of water uh, two mole of ammonia with one mole of water this is two soluble hydrate uh, in between the ammonia and water there is hydrogen bond they are linked by hydrogen bond and next one the ammonia with water the ammonia uh, water is split into h plus oh minus indicated in red color that h plus is added with the nh3 we get nh4 plus and oh minus is separated we obtained as oh minus only in the product side this is the equilibrium reaction uh, in water we are always separated as h plus oh minus that is ionization property of water the same way the ammonia also uh, ionized stress h plus nh2 minus i indicated in red color this ionization property of ammonia is um, it is good like a water because it has the dielectric constant is high value so that only it uh, it split into ion like a water see the first reaction ammonia i split into h plus nh2 minus the same way another mole of ammonia that amount another mole of ammonia get the h plus we uh, it gives nh4 plus and remaining nh2 minus so uh, we write in the equilibrium reaction means we always ca calculate the equilibrium constant here we left the ammonia ammonia means why it is a solvent so always we left the am solvent amount very high means we left it so that we writing only the product amount um, what is product here nh4 plus and nh2 minus so square bracket, uh, square bracket indicate that it is a concentration value so multiply with each other we get that 10 power minus 30 it is a constant value girls so that we have to memorize one the same way in water water we split into h plus oh minus then another mole of water attract the h plus and then it form h3o plus that is hydronium ion and remaining OH minus we are getting here also water is a solvent so solvent we are uh, concentration we are left out so product amount only we are writing in the K23 degree Celsius means equilibrium that is called as ionization constant for water we get 10 power minus 14 it is also a constant value so memorize it chemical properties of ammonia first one action of heat above 500 degree celsius the ammonia is decomposed as nitrogen and then hydrogen mm, remember that from with the help of nitrogen and hydrogen we produce the ammonia the same way ammonia on heating gives nitrogen and hydrogen here the catalyst nickel and iron we are we using the next one uh, ammonia does not burn in air air means it is a mixture of gases so in mixture of gases ammonia does not burn but in the presence of free oxygen oxygen alone present means ammonia um, it gives the yellow flame yellow flame means it contains nitrogen as well as water that is called as nitrogen steam in the presence of catalyst that is platinum it burns to produce nitric oxide ammonia with oxygen gives nitric oxide and water without the presence of uh, catalyst means it gives nitrogen steam but with the presence of catalyst it gives nitric oxide that uh, process is called as with the help of catalyst it form a nitric oxide that process is called as oswald process next one reducing agent ammonia is act as a reducing agent what is reduction removal of oxygen is called as reduction so ammonia it used to, to reduce the other element other compound so that it is called as reducing agent see the example in the lead oxide the lead metal contain oxygen the oxygen removed means that process is called as reduction process the reduction process is undergo with the help of ammonia so that ammonia is called as reducing agent now the lead lead oxide remove the oxygen means we get the lead metal so see the reaction lead oxide with ammonia it gives lead plus nitrogen plus water so the metal oxide uh, reduced to metal with the help of ammonia the next one reaction with the acid acid means it gives h plus h plus means proton so that proton it attracted by the ammonia than water so it forms ammonium salt with the acids
ammonia reacted with the chlorine in two different way first way x is ammonia now see the first reaction 2 mole of ammonia plus 3 moles of chlorine it gives nitrogen with 6 moles of hcl then the second reaction 6 mole of hcl plus 6 mole of ammonia it gives 6 moles of ammonium chloride here we, when you add two reaction that first reaction 2 mole of ammonia the next reaction 6 mole of ammonia we are using in this one so totally we are using 8 moles of ammonia to produce 6 moles of ammonium chloride in the next one suppose the ammonia reacted with the excess chlorine means what is going on we have to see that 2 moles of ammonia with 6 moles of chlorine it gives first nitrogen trichloride ncl3 it is a explosive substance with 6 moles of hcl again the 2 moles of ammonia with hcl it gives ammonium chloride in this reaction if you see that two reaction you add how many moles of ammonia we are getting four moles of ammonia but six moles of chlorine used so that it called as excess chlorine when compared to ammonia four moles of ammonia six mole is larger so that it is called as excess chlorine with excess chlorine one of the product is nitrogen trichloride with excess ammonia means in the first uh, two reaction how many moles of ammonia we used eight moles of ammonia but we used only three moles of chlorine so when compared to chlorine moles we have eight moles of chlorine so it is more so that it is called as excess ammonia the next one formation of amide and nitrite strong electropositive metal sodium is called as so strong electropositive with that metal ammonia form amide nanh2 is called as soda amide the same way magnesium that is another s block element but that metal the ammonia form magnesium nitride mg3 n2 is magnesium nitride and then it evolve hydrogen gas the next one with the metallic salt that here the metal is d block element metal uh, in iron means that ammonia form metal hydroxide in copper it gives complexes see the reaction fe3 plus this is salt form with ammonium plus it is also a salt form and 3 oh minus the 3 oh minus combined with the 3 mg fe3 plus it gives ferric hydroxide and then ammonium salt the same way in ammonia with the copper 2 plus it gives a complex compound that is tetramine copper 2 ion Ammonia contains negative dipole end that dipole end is attracted by the positive ion means it form ammoniated compound by the ion dipole attraction now see the example CaCl2 8 moles of ammonia in that one calcium form calcium 2 plus ion that calcium 2 plus ion is attracted by the uh, negative end of the ammonia the same way the ammonia is form as a ligand see the example in the square bracket we already see in our coordination compound so that um, i am leaving this one next one ammonia when excess ammonia is added with the aqueous solution of copper sulfate copper sulfate color is c blue color if you add excess ammonia means we get deep blue color deep means dark blue color uh, because of the compound formation cu nh nh3 4 2 plus that is tetramine copper 2 plus is formed the next one structure of ammonia in this structure the ammonia is hybridization is sp3 hybridization it will ask in one word girl so note it down the next one the shape of the ammonia is pyramidal shape and the bond distance is 1.016 armstrong degree between the nitrogen and hydrogen suppose hydrogen nitrogen bond distance they ask means that is 1.645 armstrong degree and then bond angle is 107 degree because the presence of lone pair electron in the nitrogen then it has the um, structure is tetrahedral but the shape is pyramidal shape because of the lone pair of electron in nitrogen preparation of nitric acid first of all the nitric acid uh, it is produced by 
heating potassium nitrate with a concentrated sulfuric acid both are in equal amount on heating it gives potassium bisulfate plus nitric acid uh, first of all the sulfuric acid split into h plus h is 4 minus the same way in potassium nitrate k plus no3 minus K plus reacted with HSO4, we get potassium hydrogen sulfate. And then remaining H plus and NO3 minus reacted with each other gives nitric acid. The nitric acid, the temperature we have to keep in a low temperature only. Otherwise, the nitric acid decomposes. So, how it is decomposed means see the another reaction. 4 moles of nitric acid is given. It is decomposed as 4 moles of nitrogen dioxide NO2. 2 moles of water and 1 mole of oxygen. So, uh, we get this uh, mixture of compound only, uh, gives the color for nitric acid is brown color. The next one, commercial preparation. Commercial means large amount of nitric acid is produced with the help of what process ma? Oswald process. What is alpha process means? First, ammonia reacted with 10 times of air. First, it gives nitric oxide along with 6 moles of water. That uh, Here, platinum cage and then 1275 Kelvin are used. So that first produce nitric oxide. Then again that nitric oxide is reacted with the oxygen. Um, it oxidizes and then gives nitrogen dioxide. Then again that nitrogen dioxide is passed through series of adsorption towers and adsorb the water and produce the nitric oxide and uh, nitric oxide and then nitric oxide and then water. This nitric acid is bleached with the help of blowing air, then we get the pure nitric acid. Pure nitric acid is colorless, but fuming nitric acid, it contains oxides of nitrogen. Uh, that pure nitric acid on exposure to sunlight or heating, it decomposes as nitrogen dioxide. See the reaction, N NO2 means nitrogen dioxide and water and oxygen. Because of this reaction only, pure acid or concentrated nitric acid become yellow just on stranding. Then most of the reaction of nitric acid is act as a oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the other compound. Then oxidation state of the nitric acid it reduced from the nitric acid the nitrogen oxidation state is plus 5 to lower 1. And it does not yield the hydrogen in this reaction with the metal. Nitric acid sometimes act as a acid, sometimes act as a oxidizing agent, sometimes it act as a nitrating agent. We are going to see one by one. First of all, it act as a acid. Now, the Z and O, zinc oxide is reacted with the nitric acid. You split the zinc oxide, Z and 2 plus and O. O2 minus the same way nitric acid H plus NO3 minus always plus reacted with the minus character. So in the first reactant which one is plus EZ10 is plus and next reactant which one is minus NO3 is minus. So the both are reacted with each other gives EZ10 NO3 twice. Then here uh, the first reactant contain negative character O2 minus and then uh, second reactant H plus both are uh, reactor each other gives water. But another reaction we can't say like that. It gives different product iron oxide plus 10 moles of nitric acid gives um, I, uh, ferric nitrate that is FeNO3 thrice with the nitric oxide NO plus 5 moles of water. We have to memorize this reaction goes. Nitric acid, it acts as an oxidizing agent. How it is act as an oxidizing agent means it oxidizes the other compound. See the first reaction. Here carbon reacted with the nitric acid. The carbon get the oxygen and it oxidizes to carbon dioxide. Another product are 2 moles of water and 4 moles of nitrogen dioxide. Uh, students, we have to memorize this reaction girls. Just to see the what main reaction is going on only, I am going to explain here. The next one, sulfur. Sulfur is reacted with the nitric acid. The sulfur get the oxygen and then it oxidizes to sulfuric acid, not like the carbon, carbon to carbon dioxide. Not all the reaction is same one. So each element differently reacted with the nitric acid. Here the sulfur 
is oxidized to sulfuric acid then sulfuric is along with the sulfuric acid we get two moles of uh, nitric oxide the next one phosphorus phosphorus reacted with 20 mole of nitric acid and it oxidized to phosphoric acid phosphoric acid formula h3po4 and along with that we get 4 mole of water and 20 mole of nitrogen dioxide the next one iodine the iodine uh, reacted with the 10 mole of nitric acid the iodine oxidized to hydroiodic acid hio3 and along with that we get 10 mole of nitric oxide and 2 mole of water the next one fluorine that fluorine is um, reacted with the nitric acid it gives hydrofluoric acid along with that fluoronitric acid the next one hydrogen sulfide that hydrogen sulfide reacted with the nitric acid it gives sulfur the removal of hydrogen also called as oxidation we we learned two type of oxidation definition one is addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen that hydrogen sulfide it removes the hydrogen and gives the sulfur so here reduction is takes place uh, not reduction so oxidation is takes place with the help of nitric oxide and remaining uh, remaining product or no nitric oxide and then four moles of water the next one nitrating agent the nitric acid is octase a nitrating agent when the benzene is reacted with the nitric acid with the help of sulfuric acid it gives nitrobenzene formula c6h5no2 plus water then here the one of the hydrogen is replaced with the help of nitric acid and the hydrogen replacement hydrogen is fulfilled by no2 plus then the remain the removed h plus is reacted with oh minus it gives water the splitting of nitric acid is take place with help of sulfuric acid now see the below reaction last reaction in nitric acid is split into no2 plus and oh minus and sulfuric acid it is split into h plus hso4 minus the h plus reacted with oh minus of nitric acid gives water and we get nitronium ion that is no no2 plus and hso4 minus we are getting so this split the splitting of nitric acid that is no2 plus oh minus we get from the sulfuric acid only so for the nitration of benzene we need the help of sulfuric acid to split the nitric acid